All right, gonna do a little playing in the river today, and uh, I got to go out on this diversion and remove all of these trees that have deposited themselves there. Um, this is from the spring runoff. They come down and they get stuck on the dam. If you don't remove them before the winter comes, they lay there, um, gather the ice, and then they pull the rock to riprap off. Anyway, so I got to walk the excavator out here and pull these off and uh, clean this up. Anyway, this is a canal diversion out of the Snake River. This is the canal that I'm on. I get the water for my farm uh, out of this canal. Anyway, I'm the last one on the ditch. <laughs> the very last. So, I like to make sure they got their water. Anyway, right in through here, this washed out in 2006. Had a huge hole in there. Let's see if I can find some pictures of me on the D9 out there. In the water trying to plug it off. But you can watch some of my earlier videos. And uh, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. Uh, we hauled all this rock out here with the 988 loader. To place it all but this diversion has a concrete top on it and you'll see that in part of the video there isn't much of it left most of it's gone you'll see a little bit here and there there are some there but this diversion was all built uh, back in the uh, late 1800s 1880s 1890s by the local farmers and what they did is they had a little metal slip and all this lava rock that's under this concrete cap was hand picked and then this little teeny barge they'd get it out here and they built all this by hand well it wasn't very wide and so uh, it just it wouldn't take the some of the flooding that <clears throat> we experienced here anyway this section right here has been all rebuilt. Look how nice and pretty it is. And it was all built with uh, uh, lava rock that was shot rock. It was all pretty much the same size. And you can see how well it's turned out. And the whole purpose is of what we're doing is uh, remove the trees. And then we come in every year or two and do a little maintenance work and add some lava rock. And... Uh, all the gravel that's on the downstream side has been pushed clear up over this diversion. Uh, a lot of power there, and you'll see some big old lava rocks laying out here. 
right on top of the diversion. Well, those are in front of the diversion, and the river has so much force, it'll lift those great big rocks right up and over and lay them up on top. And so what we're doing is we, we've tried to, ex to widen it and to slow the water down as it passes over. And you can see how wide it is right there. And that's where it washed out. And that's why it's so wide is it's about 10, 15 feet deep down to lava rock. So uh, it washed all the gravel out in a big hole there. It took a lot of material uh, to fill that up. But you can see the big lava rock dolies out here. And those weren't there. Those have been lifted up from the front side and pushed up on top by the power of the river. And you can see the little streaks of gravel that it's washed up over top. And then the dark areas where it's deep, where the water washes around and pulls the gravel out. Anyway, let's, let's go down here and I'll show you, besides removing the trees, what else I'm going to do. Um, okay, so right here, do you see the white <clears throat> right under the concrete there? The water washes over and it can wash down under there. And once, once that concrete cap starts to go off, the rock under there is not very big and it can wash a hole in it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a bunch of rock and tuck it down underneath of uh, where that's washing. And we'll move up here a little farther and I'll show you that. Right here is where I'm going to put the bulk of the rock, right here. And you can see all the white water there and you can see where it's washing under there. So I'm going to add all that rock try to uh, slow down the flow of that water and make it make it so it doesn't wash as much got a big and nire get rid of this, the water will go down here, if I can get rid of it.
honey-do list She said there won't be no Bass Pro trips So tell your hunting buddies Mama done got tough I said, I'll do the laundry, honey I'll wash your car Get on the John Deere and mow the yard Turn off that football game And if that ain't enough I won't moon the neighbors when I'm working on a truck I promise I'll cuddle after you know what And I'll quit watching some of those hunting shows I'll take you out for dinner every Friday night And hold you when a soap opera makes you cry If you would only let me go to Bass Pro I quit my drinking and chewing that snuff Go to church with you and I won't cuss And give back that bird dog you hate Oh, Bubba gave me I yank my dear head off of the wall So when your mama comes to call That eight-pointer won't be watching you all sip tea And I won't move the neighbors when I'm working on a truck I promise I'll cuddle after you know what And I'll quit watching some of those hunting shows I'll take you out for dinner every Friday night And hold you when a soap opera makes you cry If you would only let me go to Bass Pro They got ammunition, camouflage, and compound bows Shotguns, fishing gear, and bass rider boats Lift the shop till I'm dropping, honey I swear to you That I won't moon the neighbors when I'm working on a truck I promise I'll cuddle after you know what And I'll quit watching some of those hunting shows And I'll take you out for dinner every Friday night Hold you when a soap opera makes you cry If you would only let me go to Bass Pro Come on, honey, let me go to Bass Pro. Me and old Bubba just want to see if old Jamie McBurry might be down there with that big number one Chevrolet NASCAR racing machine of his, uh-huh. He might even let us sit in and take our picture. <laughs> even run around the block at times. 120 mile an hour. <laughs> Come on, Bubba.
tip over right now. Okay, we're done. This is Kim Abernathy from Charlotte, North Carolina. His brother Tom made him come out and stop by and see me. That was awesome. Enjoyed the visit. 
Thanks for sending Kim out, Tom, and I look forward to meeting you someday. Hey, I want to thank Matthew Marquette for sending me all the cool Schaefer products. I've been using the diesel fuel treatment in the C15. Uh, thank you very much for sending that stuff. That's just totally cool that you guys send that. But anyway, so he sent me this uh, Velopex High Performance Lubricating Wax. So what do you recommend using this on, Matthew? Uh, let me know in the comments below or send me an email at gapaydirt7 at gmail.com. Anyway, love you guys, man. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Sunday morning. Uh, you're seeing this video a little late. I wanted to get it out Friday, but I had uh, that runway to grade again for the aerial applicators, so I needed to get that done. That was a priority, so I want to talk about some of my great subscribers. I want to start out with uh, Rodney Donahue, who's from Eastern Montana, longtime subscriber. Thanks, Rodney. Uh, to the Top Crane, he's from Missouri, uh, St. Joseph, Missouri. Anyway, go check out his channel. As seen on the Logger Wade Show, he's been on there. Anyway, thanks for subs subscribing. Uh, John Smith from Austin, Texas. Thank you, John. Uh, Grant Belleville from uh, Bowling Green, Ohio. Thank you for subscribing. Corey Cripps from Topeka, Kansas. Thanks, Corey. And Jeter, he's from Lansing, Illinois. Uh, Brent Brucker, he's also from Illinois. He's one of my Facebook subscribers also. Thank you, Brent. And I want to give a special shout out to my Australian buddies. <laughs> Adrian Nettlefold, who sent me all the cool stuff last week. You saw that. Um, and like I said, Adrian's going to be coming to the U.S. next year, so I look forward to meeting you. Uh, Paul Thompson, who's also from Australia. Thanks for subscribing, Paul, from Down Under. Oh, and Paul wanted to know if I was going to share my whiskey with my Australian subscribers. Heck yeah. Just send me an airline ticket to Anderson Construction, 858 West, 100 South, Blackfoot, Idaho, 83221. And I'll be on the Qantas Time Travel Airlines to Australia, which it's tomorrow right now anyway hang on to your butts and uh, I'll get you a short video out in the middle of the week oh uh, check out my store for uh, some hats calendars uh, those have been reduced in price trying to get rid of them uh, also too here's the link below to Amazon for the old Kenny coloring books uh, I know you guys got grandkids so stock up on those they'll love those Oh, and a special thanks to those who've uh, helped Shane out lately. Uh, he very much appreciates that, uh, and I do too. Uh, thanks for your generosity. Oh, and for those who haven't seen uh, the Rolling CB interview with Christopher Fifey on Big Rig Videos, there's a link to that below too. It's 43 minutes long. If you haven't got enough of JP Dirt, I guarantee you'll get plenty of him on this one. Oh, and uh, I want to give a special shout out to Russell and Mindy in Maui. Thank you for sending me the Hawaii license plate. Uh, I screwed that to the wall and hung the JPay Dirt one below it. So that's cool. Thank you, man.